Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. Uh, <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Pepper practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. Ahem. Hello, Pepper. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, 
So I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> a little here. And a little Daddy here. Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Fox. foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> it is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear, do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Pepper wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Pepper and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look! She's nearly here. Let's go and find Yay! her! <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone mm. to the wrong door. Oh! oh. It's here! It's here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. Mmm. Mm. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy ow, noodles ow, ow, ow. are not Pepper's favourite. <laughs> Here, try a vegetable spring roll. <laughs> Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Pepper loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> ah, almost got you. Pepper is trying very hard to open a piñata <laughs> and get the treats inside. Because today, Pepper's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra uh -huh. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Pom-pom! Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! I will help you. Uh, <laughs> mm, this is tricky. Oh, dear. 
<laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados. And you eat it with carrots or cucumber <gasps> or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And? Dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Pepper has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Pepper is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... And Pepper is having some delicious breakfast. What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fools' Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. <laughs> Can we do one on Daddy? <laughs> That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Pepper have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. Pepper and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fool's! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny. But you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Pepper. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fools Day joke on Mummy Pig, Pepper? <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished mm. dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Pepper have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Pepper and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. Oh, this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Peppa. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. April, April Fools! Pepper, 
Peppa loves April Fool's Day. Everyone loves April <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Oh, ha! Oh, dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, oh dear. How long will it take? It will take as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Whee! Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? Ah. <laughs> Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. <sighs> it's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today is Pancake Day at Pepper's Playgroup. Ah. <laughs> it's an ice cream. Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? it? What are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> and I'm really yummy. 
Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Cake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Come Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh! And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go And the brakes make it stop And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn Whee! It's just like riding a bike Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forwards, Susie. Forwards? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <gasps> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure to the seaside? Hooray! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. 
We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting! <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Peppa, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Whoa. Daddy Pig and Peppa are walking through the Whoa. train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. Oh, this carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh -oh. oh. This must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. Ah. This carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh, to the seaside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. All aboard! <laughs> Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! <laughs> The bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. <laughs> Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. Oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before, and I am scared. Huh? Oh! Oh! Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh! when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Whee! Ah, too high! Too high! Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Do a loop de loop. Oh! I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well... I suppose that might keep my mind off things. 
And so Pepper, George and Madame Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! The attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>